Hey there, welcome to the cold kitchen. <laughs> On today's episode, we have a segment we like to call Luffy's World. <laughs> You know what this one is. Fujitas. You seen the trend here, people? <laughs> Are we through the looking glass? Mm -hmm. uh, so, we've done a lot of stuff some shellfish, some flatfish. Now we're going to do a blobby fish. Uh, in the form of. What's it called again? It's is the it monk monk fish. Monkfish. I do not fear this new challenge. Rather, like a true warrior, I will rise to meet it. They're very attractive looking fish. Yeah, it's got to wash its hand 30 times before <laughs> it goes out and works for the police force. But hey, this is about what seeing what kind of proteins we can Vegeta. Wero, you know what to do. What do you got, Wero? Uh, I got bungfish. Oh, it's the bungfish. What? It's so lumpy. Really yeah. interesting textured meat. Mm hmm More interesting sounds again. I think you're just going to get that no matter what with seafood. <laughs> it's the sounds of love. Whatever this thing is. <laughs> Those awesome cooking skills. <laughs> Where who likes to cook on his table? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, it's the long pour. You gotta aerate it. Mm -hmm. Suck my fat tits, assholes, damn! <laughs> somebody will get it. You won't. No. But somebody else will. No. That's, no one's gonna get it. Us TV firing folks, we know what we're talking about. <laughs> we don't take too kindly to do TV firing. You should folks know what we're talking about with your fucking weird chin fuzz you got going on there. Why? You look just like fucking Apple Stan, actually. Who the fuck is Apple Stan? Not Apple Stan. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the middle of Yakima. Look at that monkfish. Look look at that bungfish in there. Oh, are you putting the bungfish in? Getting the bungfish. Oh, here comes the bung. Oh. There's all the bungfish. It does look, look like, colors. like lungs and stuff. Now yeah. that it's like reddish in it's color. It's like some vestigial organs that they pulled out of somebody. Yeah. <laughs> like, here's a bunch of appendixes. It looks like something you would refer to as a node. <laughs> Here you go. Ooh. You get cooking beer. Thank you. Might actually end up pulling the fish out before the, <laughs> let the gloop cook off and then put the fish back in just to get some, some gloop more on there. <laughs> Tell us about this scientific gloop wero. <laughs> See, gloop is a specific culinary term that, like, unless you're really in the know, you've uh -huh. never heard of it before. It's like, you know, like five star, you know, Michelin chefs, like, they know what gloop is, but, like, the uh -huh. average, you know, just dude doesn't, they don't know. Yeah. yeah. Or if you have, like, a 60 word vocabulary, just like, <laughs> like, 20% of them are gloop. What fish are you gonna pull out, wero? Your, your massive Alaskan cod? My fucking, uh, <laughs> damn it. The moment's <laughs> lost, Wero. You ruined it. Some sort of pike. <laughs> <laughs> I will attest, it does look like a pike. <laughs> <laughs> well, is it time for some of that expert plating? Oh, yeah. Boo! What do you got, Emerald? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where's your bam man now, bitch? Monk fish. It does, does look about the same color as when you get like shrimp fajitas, so hopefully that's a good sign. <laughs> well, you see, Wero, when you cook a shrimp, it gets to the point where you know it's cooked because of the color, but monkfish isn't supposed to be pink. Not when it's covered in gunk. <laughs> thought it was goop. Again, Wero's patented gunk and goop. Mm -hmm. It's gloop. Ah, that's right. <laughs> Alright, one more, one more. Alright, 
So the fish was a little overcooked, but the texture on it, like that texture is great. It's better than catfish texture. The flavor, on the other hand, though, a lot of it's lost. Um, the, the other things that go along with it, very strong. And it feels like monkfish is, you know, I could possibly get overwhelmed by other things. So, uh, but the, the texture is delicious. Like I could totally eat this fajita and be happy with it. I don't know. I think, I think if you really knew about monkfish, you could probably season it one extra step further. It's, it's definitely not fishy like a normal fish. Like I said, it's kind of like catfish in texture. Really nice. Well done, world. Well done. We're calling you a Vegeta? <laughs> your gnomish people have led you right again when ah! it comes to your, uh, <laughs> when it comes to your iron. Um, yes. Yes. I, I, I claim this a Vegeta. My, my. What do we have here? <laughs> oh, good. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm busting through into Luffy's world. Oh, yeah. uh, first person perspective. I just want some monkfish. Something's breaking through its way into our world. Uh, <laughs> texture awesome. Mm -hmm. Almost no discernible flavor other yeah. than the stuff that was added to it. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that is a delicately flavored fish. Yep. It's, it's like even white fish has more of a flavor. <laughs> Not hit with the Mexican and hammer of the Vegeta mix, <laughs> so it's still good though. I like it. Yeah, yeah. All right, this has been the Cold Kitchen. It's all around us. Love is world. Please, in the kitchen. Like, in the cold kitchen. share, subscribe. Check out Lofi on Twitch. Check out Lofi's channel, and don't check out Lofi on uh, Instagram because he doesn't have one because he's an asshole. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>